Today's topic is binary subtraction. The first thing that we have to do before completing binary subtraction is look at the rules regarding something called two's complement. Two's complement is the method that is used to allow us to change the second number, the number to be subtracted, into a negative number so that we can then add both numbers together. Process for doing that is get both binary numbers to be subtracted. Take the second one and change the ones to zeros. So we invert or flip the ones and the zeros. And then we add one to the second number. Then we add the original first number to the new second number. The best way to demonstrate this is through a number of examples. So hopefully once we have a look at the four examples that I have, um, you will understand how to apply the process. Okay, first of all, we get the two numbers to be subtracted. So we have our top number here, and then we have our second number with the minus beside it. So using the second number or the number to be subtracted, we add enough zeros at the left hand side of the number so that there are eight digits. Once we have eight digits, we invert the digits. So the zeros become one and the ones become zero. The next part of the process is that we add one to this newly generated second number. So we have one add one, which is zero, carry one. Zero add one, which is one. There are no carries at this point, so the number just comes straight down. The last process is that we use the original first number and we add it to the new second number that we have. So we have lined them up and 0 add 0 is 0, 1 add 0 is 1, 1 add 0 is 1, 0 add 1 is 1, 1 add 0 is 1. 1 add 1 is 0, carry 1. 0 add 1 plus the carry 1 is 0, carry 1. And then last we have 1 plus 1 plus the carry 1, which is 1, carry 1. The extra carry 1 will take us into 9 digits, so we discard the last digit. It can only be a maximum of 8. And that is the result of our subtraction. OK, so what we'll do now is we'll look at example two. So again, example two has got two numbers and we have to subtract one number from the other. So we go through the same process. We use the second number or the number to be subtracted and we make sure there are enough zeros so that there are eight digits. Once we have made sure that there are eight digits, we invert the zeros and ones. So zero becomes one and one becomes zero. And we do that for the whole number. The next part of the process is that we add one to this newly generated number. So one add one is zero, carry one. 1 add 0 is 1. There is no carry, so the rest of the number can just come down. The next process is we add the original first number to the newly generated second number. So we have 0 add 0, which is 0. 0 add 1, which is 1. 1 add 1, which is 0, 
carry one. One add zero at the carry one is zero carry one. One add zero at the carry one is zero carry one. One add one at the carry one is one carry one. Zero add one at the carry one is zero carry one. Zero add one at the carry one is zero carry one. Now we're only allowed a maximum of eight digits, so that last carry one is just dropped. And this is the result of the subtraction of those two original numbers. So we'll look at another example, a third example. And again, we have got two numbers, two eight digit numbers, and we have to subtract them. So we use the number to be subtracted and we make sure that it's eight digits in length. And the first thing we do is invert the digits. So zero becomes one and one becomes zero. And we do that for the full length of the number. We then use this number here, the newly inverted number, and we add one. So one add one is zero carry one. One add zero is one. There are no carries at this point, so the number just comes down and remains the same. So now the last thing that we do is we add the original first number to the new second number. So we have zero add zero, which is zero. One add zero, which is one. Zero add one, which is one. One add zero, which is one. Zero add one, which is one. One add one, which is zero, carry one. One add one, which plus the carry one is one, carry one. So zero add one, add the carry one is zero, carry one. The last carry one is dropped and we remain with eight digits. And the last example here, example four, we have got two eight digit numbers, binary eight digit numbers, and we have to subtract the second number from the first. So using the second number, the number to be subtracted, making sure that it has eight digits, it has already, we invert each of the digits. So zero becomes one, zero becomes one, one becomes zero, and we do that for the full number. The next thing that we do is we add one to this inverted number. So one add one becomes zero carry one. One add one is zero carry one. Zero add one is one. And then the rest of the number just remains the same. So the last part in our process is we add the original first number to the new second number. So zero add zero is zero. One add zero is one. One add one is zero carry one. Zero add one plus the carry one is zero carry one. One add zero at the carry one is zero carry one. One add zero at the carry one is zero carry one. One add zero at the carry one is zero carry one. Zero add one at the carry one is zero. And we have a last carry one. We're only allowed eight digits, so we drop that last one. And that is our answer for example four. Go over this presentation again as many times as you need to, to grasp the topic. Then have a look at the binary subtraction exercises, making a note of any 
questions that you have either through the presentation or through the exercises and ask them in the online live tutorial which the link will be given on Canvas. Once you've completed this section and you're quite happy, you can move on to hexadecimal edition. Thanks for listening. Bye.